daybreak over Moreton Bay. These early birds arrive just in time to catch the view. But for one, the outlook hasn't always been so clear. And it has been a long, hard, tough struggle. Lisa Wilkins spent 25 years in the depths of alcohol addiction until one day it became too much. I ended up in an ambulance after drinking probably two bottles of wine, two bottles of Prosecco and a litre of gin and um, was found on the bathroom floor and rushed to hospital. A confronting chat with doctors started her long road to recovery. I was like, wow, OK, I have a problem. If I don't stop drinking, I'll probably die. Lisa is one of a growing number of Australians who's used the pandemic to turn the tide on her addiction. It forced me to, to sit with my feelings and to get better. The closure of pubs has also been a plus. She's also discovered a non-drinking support network. The group's numbers have more than doubled across Australia during the pandemic. Because they actually weren't able to socialise, that then gave them space to actually decide that this was something they didn't really want to do anymore. Online meetings for Alcoholics Anonymous have also doubled worldwide. So when we were at home from day to day, we monitored more how much we ate and how much we drank. One in five Australians now don't drink any alcohol. But while there's a surge in sobriety, online alcohol sales have exploded. Support groups are now calling for further funding and for tougher controls on door-to-door -door deliveries. Now nearly two years sober, Lisa says she's proud of the woman she's become. I'm not ashamed of that life. It's a past life now though and I'm a completely different person. But thank God I'm not that person anymore. A new dawn for a new woman. Phoebe Hosier, ABC News.